minutes to eight. Now, when David Wilson was 18 years old, his future was put in doubt when he crashed his motorbike in Pembrokeshire while trying to avoid a car. Yeah, he broke his back and neck, and for a time it looked unlikely that he'd ever walk again. Well, fast forward 34 years, and today he's one of Wales' most celebrated landscape photographers. And David's with us this morning. Hi, morning. Nice morning. Um, just take us back to that period when everything looked pretty bleak for you, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's 34 years ago, so it's slightly misty. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I, like I say, I had a motorbike accident, and I ended up in uh, Cardiff in a specialist spinal injuries unit for six months. I was one of the luckier ones in that I walked out um, quite slowly, and I think I was leaning on my dad at the time, but I walked out. Um, a lot of the people I left behind, they kind of didn't walk out, really. And it's... Being on a place like that for six months does... I mean, even 34 years on, it's kind of indelibly etched into my mind, really. And I still think of these guys, even though I haven't seen them since 1984. I get the feeling that you were absolutely determined to have a positive outlook and get back <laughs> going. Is that fair? Is that true? Eventually, that was fair. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. For the first number of years I was young, <laughs> I was vain, and sort of walking down the street with a pronounced limp and having obvious issues wasn't a good look. So, yeah, I, I had some pretty dark times, uh, but uh, eventually I looked myself in the mirror and said, you've got a choice, you can either carry on beating yourself up or you can get your proverbial bottom into gear and uh, start looking on the positive side. I know it sounds all horrendously cliché, but that's what I did. Well, and clichés, often out of clichés, of the, yeah. the, the truth. And photography was the journey or a, a route was, that helped yeah. you. Um, I mean, I bought my first camera when I had my motorbike. And um, I used to ride around Pembrokeshire taking pretty ordinary photos. Some people might say I still take pretty ordinary photos, I don't know. Um, but it, it kind of... It ignited something in me, uh, a passion, a love. Uh, and when I came out of hospital, it helped to kind of get me out, to stop me thinking about myself and my issues or what I perceived as my issues. And so it got me walking and it got me going to vantage points and taking photos and went from there. I mean, I'm looking at some of these pictures as well and, you know, it, there's photography which you could do in a studio, you could do, you know, something that would be pretty easy if you were doing yeah. portraits, but you're not. You're doing, you know, wild <laughs> whales. Um, that yeah. takes some getting to some of these vantage points. Um, I, I think it would be fair to say that most people's perception of a landscape photographer is some kind of annoyingly rugged, physically <laughs> intact being with a large rucksack traipsing across the landscape. I'm not that person. <laughs> I, I dodder across it quite stumblingly and increasingly as I'm getting older, things are deteriorating and I'm having to, you know, my, uh, Anna, my wife, is just incredible. She comes out a lot more than me now. And to be perfectly honest with you, and she'll hate me for saying this, but I'm going to say it anyway, she deserves some credit for this book as well because I would say probably half the photos in this book Particularly these ones out in the middle of nowhere wouldn't have happened without her. So why? It's a kind of because she got because, you out there. Because um, she lets me lean on her whilst I'm walking over tricky terrain, very uncomplainingly. Uh, well, to my face anyway. <laughs> uh, perhaps afterwards she's a little grumbly. I don't know. But yeah, you know, credit where credit's due. She's um, without her, half this book wouldn't have happened. Um, so there we are. We should say she's here in the wings. She's she shaking is. Her head. She's in uh, the wings. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I think you've just embarrassed her, but uh, yeah, well, absolutely. Well, deservedly yeah. so. <laughs> you said um, that when you first started, you were taking pretty ordinary photographs. How, when did you know you were good as a photographer? Oh, do you ever? Well, uh, what made you think, or, or who <clears throat> made you realise perhaps I there was the a future? The test in this? is if you're a commercial photographer, does anybody buy the stuff? If they don't. You ought to get another job. <laughs> uh, my publisher, Graph Egg, did I say Graph Egg, sorry? <laughs> my publisher, Graph Egg, they, they are very supportive, but they're a commercial publisher, so they don't carry, they don't carry baggage. So I'm obviously... <laughs> it would appear that I'm producing stuff that they like and that they're prepared to print and publish and distribute. 
uh, and my customers who buy my prints for their walls. Um, yeah, it must be the same there. So although I'm quite reticent in bigging myself up, um, I must be doing something right. Well, look, I think the pictures pretty much spoke for themselves anyway. Um, thank, thank you, you much, so Sean. much, David. Thank, thank you, you for much. coming in and talking to us. And thank you, Anna, as well. Anna, hello, good... uh, Charlie and Harry. Wherever you are, is that the one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, They'll be down there somewhere. Hello, Charlie and Harry. <laughs> <laughs> David's book is Thanks, called David. A Year in Pembrokeshire. Uh, we'll be with you shortly. Seriously,